Nation, Kendall Smith, alongside of a very special guest on our very first edition of Give Me Five. We've got Braden Davis joining us. He is a class of 2022 commit for the University of South Carolina. He is a quarterback out of Middletown, Delaware. And Braden, you're the first ever guest on this show. We're going to be talking to recruits, to commits, kind of about who they are off of the football field, not so much the recruiting talk, but getting to know you a little bit more. So how are you doing? You're early enrolling here in January. So the last few months of high school, I hope, are treating you well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's getting, it's getting closer and closer by the day. Um, just real excited getting, getting finished up with high school, transitioning on to the next part of my life. Just can't wait to get down there. Well, January is fast approaching, and you actually went to your first South Carolina game this fall, all of the craziness with getting recruited over the COVID-19 pandemic, but you were here for the Eastern Illinois game. You were also here for the Kentucky game. So just tell me, what were your thoughts about the South Carolina game day experience? Oh, it's awesome, especially, you know, being down on the field before the team runs out to see how the crowd's going crazy. Everybody's got the, the towels going on. It's just, it's a different experience. There's nothing like that, anything I've ever seen at any other place. Oh, yeah, the sandstorm. It, it definitely goes hard, to say the least. But like I said, I want to get to know you a little bit more just beyond being Braden Davis, the quarterback. So actually, I read that last uh, or a couple weeks ago, you had a career day. You threw for six touchdown passes against William Penn. That is pretty awesome, pretty crazy. So what is your pregame routine? Like, how do you prep? Do you have a ritual? Do you have any superstitions? Do you always eat the same thing before every single game? Yeah, so every every game day I'll I'll go I'll do like I call it breakfast club with my dad. We'll get we'll get some uh like either some Waffle House or like you know some chicken minis or something like that just for breakfast, just kind of you know calm the nerves and whatnot. Um, and then for pregame meal, my mom always makes chicken casserole. It's like it's got like Ritz crackers on it, some chicken, some broccoli. I'll eat that. I've ate that like my whole high school career, every game. Um, oh my and, gosh! Yeah, and then for uh, I also I also get a bag of haichu. I never go a game without eating a bag of haichu. Just that, that's like my pregame snack, and just helps me play very good. I love that. I guess your parents are going to have to come down to a lot of games when you're here in Columbia. You're going to have to continue the breakfast club thing with oh, yeah. your dad, and then your mom's going to have to make your casserole. Like, continue the tradition because it's obviously been working out really well for you. Six touchdown passes against William Penn. Absolutely crazy. But you went to prom last year. You're in high school, so obviously prom is like a huge thing for people to go to in high school. And I saw you were repping the garnet in the black, which love that. So when you go to a school dance, what is that one song that comes on when you're at the dance and you're just like, this is my song. Like I have to get out there on the dance floor. I'm dancing regardless. What's that song for you? I don't know. Um, it might be the, it might be like dreams and nightmares by Meek Mill. Like okay. that'll come on and like all, all the guys know it. We're all just rapping it all. It is, it, that's a good time. So that's funny because last week at South Carolina's game against Vanderbilt, they were doing like a player's playlist. And that was one of the songs that came on. I can't remember which player had that song selected as like their favorite, but it came on and everybody in the student section was hype. They absolutely loved it. But here in South Carolina, it's been a crazy year and you're coming in January. So you will be thrown right into the mix. But we've been making jokes about this year saying that it's like a Disney movie. Zeb Nolan starting at quarterback this weekend for the Gamecocks as they play Texas A&M. And people have asked Coach Beamer, like, who would you want to play you in a movie? So if you had a movie made about your life, Brayden, who would be the actor that you would want to play you? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> and you with the hard questions. This is a really, yeah. really in-depth <laughs> interview. <laughs> um, hmm. You might have to get back to me on that one. I, I got to think about that one a little well, bit. Well, you know what? That's great because we can always do a follow-up interview. That just gives me an opportunity to come back to you maybe when you're at South Carolina in the spring and be like, hey, Braden, did you ever uh, – Ever think about who you want to play yeah. you in the movie at your next press conference or your first oh, yeah. press conference for Carolina? That'll definitely be one of my go-to questions. But okay. speaking of quarterbacks in the SEC, I'm sure you know Will Levis, the quarterback at Kentucky. He has gone 
viral this year for his very bizarre food combinations, his eating habits. He eats bananas with the peel on and then he mixes mayonnaise in his coffee. So I think we just have to get this out of the way before you come to South Carolina. Do you have any like weird food combinations <laughs> that um, you really like? <laughs> I do. I'm, I might get made fun of for this, but uh, you know, you know how like Patrick Mahomes likes ketchup, like he has a ketchup deal going on. Yep. Um, I eat like quesadillas with some ketchup on it. I don't know why. Quesadillas <laughs> with ketchup. Where yeah. did that? Where did that originate? Like, how did you get into that? I don't know. I think <laughs> I think when I was younger, I just saw like one of my friends eating it, and I was like, oh, I might try that. So I just like gave it a try, and I was eating it like that ever since. Man, that's interesting. The next time I go to Moe's or I go to Chipotle or whatever and I get a quesadilla, I'm going to put some ketchup on it and I'm going to be like, this is, this is an honor of Brayden. I feel like now everybody in Gamecock Nation has to try the quesadillas and the ketchup. You're giving a Will Levis a little run for his money. But Brayden, we know you're super talented quarterback on the field, but do you have any like special talents off of the field, things you're really good at? Colton Gothier, he's a little rock star. We've got at Carolina. So what are your special talents off the field? Hmm. I don't know if I can give you like a preview on this one, but um, you know, me and me and some of my friends, we've kind of picked up like freestyling, like rapping a little bit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like give you an example on that, but yeah, that's something we kind of do just just me and my friends. You already knew what my follow-up question was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Give us an example. I know they do like a talent show at South Carolina where they let some of the new players do their talents in front of the whole team. I don't know if they'll bring that back next year, but if they do, you definitely got to get up there. You got to do it. And uh, maybe the fans one day will be lucky enough to hear you do some freestyle. That's pretty impressive because I could, could not do that. that that's awesome. Um, so people at South Carolina are super excited to have you come to the University of South Carolina. And I know a lot of the players have been tweeting at you, talking to you on social media. So is there anybody that you've gotten to meet, whether that's in the quarterback room currently at South Carolina or on the team, or maybe some recruits that'll be joining you next year that you've already gotten to kind of establish a relationship with and get to know? Yeah, so um, I would say with, with the recruiting class, we're all pretty, uh, all pretty connected. We have, we have a group chat. We're all just texting back and forth and that thing, uh, talking about the games we're playing and whatnot. Um, but I would say I'm, I'm definitely close with uh, Marshawn Lloyd, um, Debo Williams. Those are two Delaware guys. I've known them since before they got to South Carolina. So we've kind of kept that relationship going. And uh, also Luke Doty. He's kind of he's kind of taking me under his wing a little bit. And uh, yeah, he's just, he's just my guy. Definitely. That's awesome. That's so awesome. And then I wanted to ask you, so a lot of people who play sports, they have role models. So for you, if you could take any current college or professional quarterback out to dinner, first of all, where would you take them to dinner? And secondly, who would you take? Okay, I'd probably take, I would take um, Joshua Dobbs. He's always been kind of my, my role model as a quarterback and also as a person uh, with similar interests. Um, he, he's going to do, or he's doing like some engineering aerospace. I'm um, like a mechanical engineering type of guy. Um, but I, I would probably take him to hmm, probably, probably five guys. That's probably one of my favorite places to go eat at. Just get a nice burger and some fries and chop it up a little bit. And some ketchup too, right? Like you've got to oh, yeah. have the place that has the ketchup. I love that. What kind of ketchup, by the way? Like, I, I can't get over the quesadilla in the ketchup. So is it like Heinz ketchup? Is there a specific <laughs> brand that it has to uh, be? No, it's just whatever my mom's got in the fridge. Probably some Heinz. Um, yeah, nothing too special there. It sounds like uh, your mom is quite the cook. Like, she's got the casserole. She's always got the fridge stocked up. So I'm pretty impressed, especially being a college student. Like, yeah. You'll miss that real fast when you come to college. We've already been talking about it. She's going to try to try to come down a little bit, cook a meal, and, you know, she's talking about she'll, like, send it, send it down to me. Oh, my gosh. I love that. You've already got the plan in order. But for when you come in January, Brayden, what's your message to Gamecock Nation? What do you want to say to them ahead of coming to the University of South Carolina and joining the football team? Uh, I'm just, just real excited to be able to get there, uh, you know, come compete. Um, do whatever I can to help the team, help the team win, uh, get everybody going where we're trying to go. Um, just excited to be playing for Coach Shane Beamer and for, you know, the great Gamecock Nation. 
Well, Brandon, thank you so much for being our very first guest on Give Me Five. I don't even know if that was five minutes. I wasn't timing it because it was such a great time having the opportunity to talk to you, to get to know a little bit more about you off of the field. We'll see you here in January in Columbia, South Carolina, but good luck in the rest of your high school season. Thank you. I appreciate it.